What's up guys, I'm Robbie aka Throttle here at Amsterdam for ADE 2017 at the Red Bull Studios. What kit or software is my favorite? Um, I'm using a lot of Valhalla reverb, like I use that just on everything. Not just for reverb, well obviously just for reverb, but not just for standard reverb things. Um, I'll often like take a, a vocal, um, put it through that and then distort it or distort it and then put it through that. I think it's, it's one of the things I'm using for, for creative things a lot at the moment. What am I looking forward to seeing most at ADE? Um, ADE is a great chance for me to catch up with everyone because everyone's here. It's, it's so much of a showcase. Like every night, every DJ plays like twice or like everyone plays for about half an hour. So it's a good chance to, to see a little showcase of everyone and see what everyone's playing. Um, so it'll be nice for me to see what sort of music everyone's playing and for me to do my own thing too. What's gonna be big in music over the next year? Always a tough one. Um, Hopefully my music does all right. Um, no, I think I think kind of African inspired stuff is really big at the moment. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards more like cooler, a lot more synth orientated stuff because uh, in the past I've done a lot of stuff with real instruments. So I'm kind of moving into that. Um, Pinata is very like Moomba inspired, I guess, which is, is huge at the moment. So, so hopefully that takes off too. The last cool production trick I learned um, it was definitely Serum the in serum effects the reverb filter so I'll, I'll do that and i'll automate the cutoff to come up with some really cool weird things how do i feel about the current state of dance music um i mean a lot of the time it's easy to feel like the the industry is stale and not moving forward but i do think there are guys now more than ever who are coming up i think the the edm bubble is kind of bursting um and it's making way for guys who are more musical i think um You've got guys like Chase, um, I do a lot of songwriting too, like I think it's, it's really time where people who do more musical things are coming up, which is exciting for me. It's like there was a period where there was a lot of music that didn't really sound like music, so I feel like it's, it's a time where we we're kind of going back to music, which is exciting. My tips have I got? My, my biggest tip to anyone is always learn an instrument. I think that was the biggest step forward in my production. I learned guitar as a kid kind of gave it up when I started making music because I think I'd, I thought I didn't need it um, and then got back into it and it was just monumental the difference it made just no it wasn't necessarily recording guitar and everything it was just that mindset of playing an instrument and so now every time I make a synth lead I'm trying to make it sound real and trying to automate the volumes and things and I think having an understanding of how an instrument works and how an instrument sounds when it's played is really important in making music. Am I using any Soundware subscriptions? Um, yes, I'm on Splice. I use Splice all the time. I, um, I was actually in touch with the guy that, that, I think the guy that created Splice, or one of the original guys um, who put me onto it three years ago or something when they started. Um, so I've been on board ever since, but recently, um, yeah, I'm smashing Splice. I love it. How did I get started making music? I started DJing at home. I was a bedroom DJ. Started on virtual DJ making mashups, garage band. Um, moved into DJing. And then shortly after, well, I was making mashups at the start and then shortly after wanted to make beats. Uh, that was, I guess, just the natural progression was kind of moving from mashups into beats into to songwriting and things like that. My studio setup. Um, it's basically just my laptop. I have, I have speakers at the moment. I have the Atom A7Xs. Um, I have a keyboard, a Novation launch key, um, some launch pads, and my laptop, and my, and my two guitars. But really, it's, it's kind of all in a box these days. I've always been in Ableton. I started in Ableton. Um, I'm not sure why I started in Ableton, actually. I think the, the YouTube tutorials that I wanted to watch um, or the sounds that I wanted to make, most people were using Ableton. Um, and I used to watch tons of Future Music Magazine interviews. It's not a plug, but I did. Um, and I think that's probably my favorite ones where people were using Ableton. Um, I've tried FL before, but it just confuses the shit out of me. It's, I found it so confusing, so I've always just come back to Ableton. One piece of studio gear I couldn't do without. Um, my microphone, really. I'm getting more into singing. Um, you may have heard in the uh, my track Pinata, I did the vocal shout, but I'm doing more proper singing. Um, so I, I now travel with my microphone. Um, I travel with it everywhere, and if I have a vocal idea, I'll I'll lay it down no matter where I am. What's the latest addition to my studio? Um, incense, actually. I was, I was in LA and I was like, I got home and I was like, no, that's what's missing is incense. So. 
dream bits of gear in my studio. Um, I've got it all now with the incense. No, I um, I would love some barefoots, barefoot monitors. I think that's the next step for me. Barefoots or focals, but I think I think I want to get the barefoots. When approaching a new track or project, um, I start anywhere really. I I record voice notes on my phone all the time of melodies I come up with. Um, so I'll often record a melody and then I'll go in and turn that into a synth or something or I, I'll have a vocal idea I start with. Well, sometimes I just sit down and, and browse through sample packs and, and find a drum loop I like and then write a bass line to that and then, and then go from there. But really anything that's inspiring me at the time. What am I currently working on? Um, a lot of stuff. I'm, I want to put together an EP, um, whether or not that comes out as an EP or if it comes out as a collection of singles. Um, I am working on kind of just a more consistent body of work right now. So that's the focus for the next couple of months. Do I have a message of positivity and love? I do. I mean, I am a huge Future Music Mag fan. I, um, that's how I started. I started with YouTube and Future Music Magazine. I have like 50 magazines at home, um, watching all the in-studios and things like that. And I kind of hit, I hit a point eventually where I felt like I could kind of go out on my own and, and start experimenting. So for the, all those that are experimenting at home and reading Future Music Mag, um, I feel like that's where everyone starts. That's where I started. And... And so many people start with tutorials and then and it's a steep curve. It, it really is. But you will hit a point where where things start accelerating really quickly and you're, you're able to kind of go out and start exploring and, and coming up with new things that, that no one's ever tried before. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Throttle. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you can check me out on SoundCloud, Spotify, Facebook, all that good stuff at Throttle to stay updated.